Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, my favorite animated movie of all time next to Land Before Time. I know you guys figured since I made this post that I'm probably going to put up something about this. And it's something that I've always thought about, but I never actually really talked with anyone. And for anyone who's watched this movie, you're going to crap your pants when I point out a very obvious fact, at least it would be obvious to people who love horses, that many people didn't notice. You see, this romance that Spirit had between him and Rain, it's not that romantic because Rain isn't his only wife. What? What the fuck? You see, horses live in herds, like many hooved prey animals. Before they were domesticated, they were fine all on their own. And horse herds were usually made up of a bunch of mares or fillies and colts, or possibly even multiple stallions. But what will usually happen in situations where the colts or male young horses mature into stallions, they usually reach the age or adult age of a stallion at around four years old, they'll be driven out by their father or the standing stallion of that herd who doesn't want them as competition for later. For everyone wondering where Spirit's father is, well, it's possible that Spirit himself drove his father out of the herd. Spirit's father probably competed with him when he saw that Spirit was getting to an age where he could become competition. And he was like, oh boy, you think you're so big? Get out of my herd and start your own. And Spirit was like, oh really, dad? Well, how about you leave? And Spirit most likely won that fight. Because if another stallion had come in the herd and chased the father out, Spirit would not be the leader of the herd or the lead stallion of the herd. The stallion is the protector of the herd. The lead mare is the one that makes the decisions where they're going to drink, where they're going to eat. And the man is the muscle who protects everyone else. That is Spirit. He is the only dominant male that you see in this herd. So yeah, Spirit most likely kicked his father out of the herd. But that's not where the real nitty gritty stuff comes in. The real nitty gritty stuff comes in when you realize that most of those females in that herd belong to Spirit, with the exception of his mother. You see, in this scene, he is responsible for taking care of those foals. Who do you think those foals belong to? Most of these females here are either chicks he's mated with, or the younger ones are his children. These are just the newest batch of kids that Spirit got from these females he mated with. The whole point of the stallion being there is so he can breed with the females. So when you look at scenes like this, him going around and kissing all the girls goodnight and looking longingly into their eyes as they're all looking at him like, hey, how you doing, daddy? Those are all his bitches. Like those are all the girls that he mated with. Every single one of them he's kissing goodnight are females that he's mated with. Spirit takes very good care of his females. Most male stallions, especially if they're experienced, are going to have that suave, if you know what I mean. They know how to treat their females and keep them wanting more. You can see how seductive Spirit is with that shit. And the reason why Rain wasn't really impressed with him at first is because she didn't live with him. She didn't see how much he fought these predators. Notice how Rain was all googly eyed after she saw how badass he was. Because mares or female horses are always going to want a stallion that can take care of them and their foals. These other females in the herd are like, Daddy, give me a kiss goodnight because they know that he takes care of them. Many of them are also the mothers to his children. And a lot of those kids or younger horses are probably not there because before they reach an age of maturity, Spirit drove them out so they would not be competition to take his leadership. Really sours the whole thing when you really realize <laughs> that that's most likely what happens. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm so stuffy. Jesus Christ, this is more annoying for me than it is for you, I promise. Stupid cold air. Can't wait to move to someplace warm. Freaking Alaska over here. It also makes sense when you see him toying around with these little kids and he's like, hey, what are you all doing? And they're like, oh shit, oh shit, it's dad. Crap. That's why they respect him so much. Yes, he is the leader of the herd, but he's also their father. I know you're probably wondering, but Altiori, those horses don't look anything him. Consider that most of the horses in this herd are dark bay colors or dark brown colors. Spirit has the ancestral color or a dun color. It's known as a dilution gene. So him breeding with these darker females will create these lighter colored foals that are kind of like a mix between his color and the darker bay colors or the darker brown colors. So yes, it is totally possible that these are his kids. Very likely also that these are his children. See that very dark Maybe. Wow, got some action. But see that very dark mare right behind him? 
Most likely that's their mom. See how dark she is? Her color mixed with his light dun color would make these babies look like a lighter version of their mother. Aside from his mom, Spirit is mating with every female in this herd. So when he meets Rain, brings her home to the family, understand that she's just his new piece. She's not his first. That's not the first female he fell in love with or had kids with. He already had many kids that were probably a lot of them, especially the males, driven away from the herd or either they left or were stolen by other males. And Rain is just the newest piece to his collection. And she won't be his last. When he first saw her, he was like, whoo, well, never seen that color before. I'm gonna add you to my collection. <laughs> That's all that was. So I just found it interesting. I'm sure a lot of people who are horse people already know this. But for those of you who've watched this, maybe that crumbled your cookies a little bit. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting. And maybe you'd find it interesting. Maybe it ruined it for you. I'm sorry. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.